Good afternoon everyone on the YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for all the recent likes and the new subscribers to the channel. I've uh, been on a couple of jobs this morning in the mobile tyre van and I'm not going to say the Q word but got a bit of a, a free gap. So to dedicate to this YouTube channel on this rainy afternoon I'm going to do a video of the towing dollies on the Audi R8. I've never done this before. Not feeling majorly confident because the dollies they are quite thick and the Audi R8 is very low but I feel like it can be done and let's be honest it will be done. Next part of this clip, I will be outside on the car. Um, only things I'm thinking through my brain, if the vehicle's that low, will I have to use a low profile jack to jack it up to get the dollies under? But hey, let's see, who knows? Um, obviously, if you do like watching the videos, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, like the video. Um, this video is not endorsed nor sponsored by absolutely anybody. Um, and make sure you turn the bell icon on for when the next video gets uploaded. But hey, we're getting better each time. Time to go outside and get this car on the dollies. Hello everyone, just about to do a video with the towing dollies on the Audi R8. And this is my first tutorial video for the channel. Hopefully all goes as planned. First things first, we need to set up the dolly. Stage one complete. Next part is setting up the dolly. So, we'll Next part is on the Nissan Navara to get the uh, the side rails. Clean the lens out. Right, next part of the clip, we've got to set these up. So, we have a button at the bottom, push the button in and set it according to the width of the car. I'm going to guess at that for now. So, pop it under. Oh, it's close. Oh no. So far, so good. Now do the same with the reverse. Oh, so I'll show you on here. So that's on the third setting, but personally I don't think I've got quite enough clearance when I put the dollies on. So I'm going to set those to the furthest one being extension 4. Right, that's the 
bars, spread it to fourth setting, which is the furthest one apart it'll do. So this is the maximum width. Bear in mind the Audi R8 do sit quite wide. Next part is attaching the dollies, which are quite heavy and I do suffer with a bad back. So get them near it. Got a little pin, pop the one down. Same again, a little pin, pop the other one down. Just so you can see, I've put that one on the middle setting. I want to get that as close to the wheel as possible. And if I can get this, it's a bit hard to do with one hand. Get it as level as you can. That's quite level. Can I get this one on the middle? Mm, no. So I'm going to have to keep that one on the middle, this one on the last setting. Now go round to the other side and do the exact same. Okay, same again, little pin, release the safety pin over, that drops it down. Same again on the other side, drops it down. And then try and get them as level as you can. So as mentioned, same as the other side, they do just pretty much drop into place. A bit harder with one hand, there you go, that's that one in. Then this one goes on the back setting so it matches the other side. Bit of a kick. Right, here's the fun part. Next part of it is putting the dollies up. Right. See if I can show you on here. So you've got the bar that comes with it, put it in the end on the mount. They are quite heavy. Bear mind the engine's in the back of this one. Pull like so. And then flick the safety over and then repeat the same for the opposite side. That is the dollies set up. Now it's time to strap them down and then lift up the front end of the motor. Just go around the back of the tire, up to the front and across. Nice and tight. Do recommend that you recheck these after a, even a couple of 50 yards, 100 yards, going over a bit of a pothole because they can have a bit of a bounce and come loose. Now time to do the exact same on the other side. Nice and secure. Again, once I've moved a little bit, I would recheck those. Now, next part is putting the spec lift under the R8. Here goes. So now I'm just going to do it on the remote to get it underneath to make sure I don't hit any of the lower arms or plastics underneath the vehicle. Looks like I've got enough clearance underneath, so now I'm just going to reverse it back to the spec touches the tyre. That should now be the spec jaws in place. 
Yep. As you can see underneath, that is just. So if it will see it, but there's just enough clearance underneath. What I would have probably done if this wasn't my own car, I would have lifted up the front first and possibly worked on the back end. Maybe. Now time to lift. As you can see, just enough clearance. That under. is the Audi R8 on the towing dollies. My quick demonstration of the in the ditch towing dollies which we purchased from tow truck trader and um, i think these cost us roughly about 1500 pounds and we went for that particular model if you can see it on there rated to 1800 kilograms and um, which is all for your normal 4x4s cars some vans because you're only lifting on the one axle not the whole weight of the car right that is the audi r8 loaded all went as planned very happy with that. In the ditch, tone dollies work perfect. Obviously, this video is not sponsored by anyone, but due to a lot of the from our face to face YouTube channel, that is the video of the Audi R8 tone dolly set up perfectly. If you do like what you see, make sure to give us a thumbs up, feel free to comment, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.